Good morning and welcome to today's session of Rules 2021. We're going to uh, talk today a little bit about uh, nearest point of complete relief and when that is used. It's used uh, for no play zones, abnormal course conditions, uh, wrong wrong green, and then dangerous animal conditions. So they're all handled in the same way. Uh, we're going to first show you how to determine your nearest point of complete relief. All right, so I'm going to walk you through how to take relief from an abnormal course condition. In this case, I'm going to show you how to take cart path relief. So as you can see, my ball is on this cart path and I'm going in this direction. So the first thing we must know is you must not go closer to the hole. Then there's three other things that have to happen when you do take relief. The position of the ball must be off of the cart path, our stance must not interfere with the cart path, and our intended swing must not also interfere with the cart path. So now we gotta determine what side um, is closer and, and what side is our relief area. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna take my stance and I'm gonna use the club I'm gonna hit with. So I have my eight iron, and I'm gonna make sure that my uh, feet are not touching the cart path at all. So I'm gonna take my stance, I'm gonna put a tee down right where the end of the club is at. And I'm gonna go on the other side and do the same thing. Make sure we don't go closer to the hole. Put the tee down. And now we determine uh, which side is closer to the ball. And as you can visually see, the ball is much closer to this tee than it is to this tee. So now we can use a club length from our relief, our reference point, and we can use the longest club in our bag other than your putter. So now I'm gonna just pick up my wood. I'm gonna take my club length from here. I'm going to put another tee down right here. And now I can pick the ball up. And now that ball is in play. All right, so now I'm going to walk you through a, a scenario. And this is the same situation as the last video. So you can see the ball is still in the cart path. But let's just say we already know that our relief area is on the left side. And, but we have these, these bushes in front of us. So before, it's very important before we pick up that ball that we know exactly what we're going to do. So if we do know it's over here, we can, we, we, we know that we don't want to hit the shot because of the bushes. So in this case, you want to leave the ball in its position and not pick it up because you might want to just hit the ball off of the cart path rather than taking relief. So it's just very important to know uh, where your relief is going to be before you pick that ball up because once you pick that ball up um, you can't put it back down. You can but it would be a one-shot penalty. Okay so Paxton's already showed you how to determine your nearest point of complete relief but I kind of want to walk through a couple of other uh, ideas here uh, with with nearest point of complete relief and kind of go a little deeper into it. So say say I've hit a shot here from the tee and it's gone into the bunker into this temporary water that's in the bunker. So we do know we get relief because that's abnormal course condition. But the biggest thing you have to remember though is, again, we can't go near the hole, but we must stay in the same area of the golf course. So in this case, my ball is in the bunker. So I'm gonna have to take relief in the bunker. Even though my nearest point might be after we determine it out here, I cannot do that. I have to stay in. So in this, so here it probably looks like we'd come back and we probably have to come back in here so make sure that our feet don't get, get into the water because we must take complete relief. If it's available, we must take complete relief. Drop the ball within our one club length, like she showed you, and that ball would be in play. Again, under all these circumstances, there's never a penalty involved. We're gonna walk right over here. In this case, maybe I've hit a shot over here and it's right by this tree. And once I get over here, I can see that there's a bee's nest and uh, that's gonna be a tough shot to hit and worrying about getting stung. So uh, we're gonna find out, we're gonna have to determine where we need to go with that golf ball, where we feel comfortable. Uh, I would highly recommend that if you get in this situation, you probably bring a rules official in so that there's not a discrepancy as far as where you should go with it. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you in a position where you feel comfortable enough to hit the shot without feeling like you could get stung uh, or the bees coming after you. So, uh, you know, here it might, it might be three feet in some instances, in some instances it might be uh, five or ten yards depending on what the circumstance. Okay so now we also have a situation where we have a wrong green. So I've got up on I hit this shot and maybe I've just hit a really bad shot or shanked it and it's gone over here on this wrong green. Uh, so we cannot hit a shot off of a wrong green. We must take relief. 
uh, when there's no options whatsoever. So again, we're gonna find our nearest point that's no closer. This is the direction we're going, we're going this way. So the area where we would take this ball would be here. So that would be our, ne our, be our nearest point of complete relief. We'd simulate the shot like Paxton showed you. Once we determine that reference point, we do have that one club length area that we can drop it in. When we drop the ball in, it must be dropped in and stay in that area. And once we determine that and that ball is dropped and is dropped properly, that ball is in play. Okay, so our last situation I want to walk you through is a little bit more involved, but it will happen. So I just kind of want to uh, give you a, a little overview of how to handle this situation. So say we've hit a shot off a tee and we've hit it over here to the right and it's on the cart path right here. Okay, adjacent to the cart path, we have temporary water. So we've got to take relief. We want relief from the cart path. So basically you have to take relief from the path first and then we would take relief from another abnormal course condition. You cannot do both. So here, our nearest point, no closer, might be right here in the puddle of water. So we determine that, we drop the ball, and our first drop is in the water, okay? So now uh, we're gonna have to determine where our nearest point of relief is from that, okay? So hopefully at this, at this point, now we can go without getting closer, maybe our nearest point's gonna be here, and then we would take a second drop and that ball would then be in play. So we can't do both at once. We must do a, a two-step process. Say for instance, so then in this case, if this is our nearest point, we're gonna drop the ball here, we're gonna play four. Let's just kind of stay in this situation. Maybe when you take your nearest point, you determine that your nearest point is back on the cart path. So it doesn't give you any relief. So now we're back in the same scenario we were when we first were. So after that, then we can combine the two. So you must do the two-step process first and if the second process puts you back where you originally were, then we're gonna use this whole area at once, and then we're gonna determine our nearest point, which you get us out here. So a little bit uh, more involved there, but uh, that will probably happen uh, a couple of times a year during our tournaments. All right, so that wraps up our session today. I hope you guys understand um, and learned more about how to take relief from an abnormal course condition, what the relief process looks like, and just a reminder, never pick that ball up unless you know for sure that you do want to take relief. Absolutely. Yeah, it makes, uh, makes a lot of sense. There's no sense uh, adding a penalty shot to right. pick that ball back. Yep. So this weekend is the Players' Championship. Yes. And uh, if you remember, this is back a year ago is when COVID hit, and they pulled players off the, on the, yeah, this event. They pulled them year. off the golf course and decided not to play. So it's been a tough year. Looking forward to get this tournament. Hopefully, get four rounds in this year. Yep. So uh, pick a winner. I'm going with Spieth again. You are stuck on Spieth. Yeah, this past weekend he was close again and couldn't finish, so yeah. I, I think uh, when is in his future. He'll get there. I think he's hitting too many loose shots, so I don't think he can. Players club's pretty tight. Players championship's pretty tight. So who tight do you off. pick? I'm going to go with Tony Finau. All right. Uh, he's another one that's just been knocking at the door a lot. Can't find that win. So uh, hopefully one of the two of these guys will win and uh, get things going this year.